Welcome to Season 2, Episode 3 of Growing Super Hot Peppers. My name is Bill Gregory. Uh, I have been transplanting sprouts for, uh, for germination pods for almost two weeks now. Here's my germination pod dome. See the, um, see the, um, where the um, sprouts are growing in there and I'll transplant them from here over to the seedling cups. I've been, they've been in here roughly about three weeks now. And so I'm almost near the end of this particular uh, part of uh, the seasons, uh, which is the germinating um, portion of the, uh, of growing the super hot peppers. Anyway, so, um, the germinating pods have almost uh, finished running their course for the, the season. I'm rapidly moving out from the seedling stage. And, um, again, ideal germinating uh, is under a dome with a thermostatically controlled electric heat mat under the, pat, under the pods. So here you can see I've got electric heat under the pods. And, um, basically, you, um, it's thermostatically controlled, meaning that I've got a probe in them here. Crap, the probe is sort of, but I usually stick it in here. And under the, under this dome here. So, sorry for that. Um. Uh, the you know the probes that uh, is sending the temperature to the thermostat, which controls temperature at what I consider to be an ideal temperature of 85 degrees. So that probe I just showed you is uh, sending a signal over here to this, which is the thermostat, and that tells the heat mat to turn on and off to regulate the temperature to 85 degrees in the dome. Um, I use an incandescent grow light approximately four feet from the dome because the electric heat mat cannot get temperatures um, in inside the dome to 85 by itself so I, I need supplemental heat basically this uh, incandescent light throws heat into this dome and it's sort of like a greenhouse effect and so that helps keep that 85 degree temperature without it without this heat lamp i'm talking to you about the heat the electric heat mat by itself won't heat it any higher than about 72 or 73 degrees inside the dome uh be sure to keep the germination pod soil very saturated at all times fill the reservoir under the pods if it um you know, if it appears the soil is no longer um, it's under here. I'm going to grab the water. If it's uh, basically if those each of these pods in here need to be somewhat saturated. Uh, they can't be dry or just barely moist uh, for the most ideal uh, percent. Um, you know, you'd be able to get as many um, seeds to sprout as possible using this method um, so here are my seedlings moving on I, like I said I've been trans transplanting them from the germinating pods into these cups with uh, some really good soil uh, it's black magic soil it is highly recommended I did some research on it last year and found that this is really the best you can get um, it's expensive, but worth it. You need to have really good soil. Um, so, they're under the same grow light, which is over here to my right, up, up above me. They're about three feet away from the grow light, the incandescent grow light. Um, uh, like I said, the uh, seedlings' soil must remain, um, wait, uh, once a week, I feed them Miracle Grow here. I just I uh, fill them up with Miracle Grow solution for indoor plant use, 
and that works just fine gets in the amount of nitrogen uh, nitrogen they need i don't need to get all fancy and go get whatever fertilizer is just so i mean highly recommended this is the cheapest way i can find to do this and so that's how i'm working it the seedlings you see in here they're about they were sown in soil about three weeks ago um you can see some are starting to produce their first real leaves see that right there you got the new leaves which are the seed uh and then you some of these okay so yeah the, the real leaves are uh the first of the real leaves and uh, so that means they're this is pretty good it's not that bad i mean here's there's some uh real leaves this one is fairly new what you're seeing here is just the new leaves which you get soon after they sprout some of these um i've got all kinds of variety in here i've got reaper uh, trinidad maruga scorpion I have some ghost peppers i've got primos trinidad maruga scorpion and I also have Primo's exclusive Big Mama um, pepper exclusive. And so I also, also have some peppers right here, which are red tie, red tie hot peppers. They're not super hot, but I just love red tie hot in some of my cooking. So anyways, thanks for viewing today. Please do subscribe. I would appreciate it. And I hope this was helpful, helpful to you. Uh, I will talk to you soon. Bye.